I go. All right. I've not gave my point of view on this yet. Hey, you know what? I'm letting it out the bag. I'm letting the cat out of the bag. Your best accomplishment. He looks so happy. Chat. When I pulled off this absolute devious lick, and I and I kidnapped Wilbur Soot. Bro, oh my god, this is terrible. All right, so we're chilling. So we're chilling at like the house and Wilbur comes around, you know what I mean? And we had the handcuffs from the charity stream that we were gonna do. We never ended up got to use them. So what I did. So chat, like this is what I mean. I don't know if I'm ready to be 18, but I also am, you know what I mean? It's time. This is what I mean when I say I'm not ready for the pearl necklace and suitcase, right? I'm not mature enough. So I'm chilling. And like, I don't know, I, I, like when I'm around people, right? I, 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 you know, I don't really do it on like, if I'm live or anything like that, because I have like a whole Twitch chat in front of me, right? I got the Keck W's coming in. Come on, boys, give me some Keck W's, give me some Keck W's. I feel like I've got enough attention, right? But IRL is a different thing. IRL, I've got people standing around me and nobody's Keck W in me, all right? Unless I like try. And I was like, right, let's have a bit of fun. So what I ended up, so what I, <laughs> I don't even know how this came about. Anyway, somebody like handcuffed Toby or something to a railing. And I thought, that's fucking hilarious. Let me do it now. And what I did is I handcuffed Will to the railing. And the, and the worst part about this, right, is that Connor was there. And like, he needed to leave, but like, he couldn't leave without like getting something off Will or some shit like that, right? He needed Will before he could leave. So I'd, I'd, I'd handcuffed Will to this railing as they need to leave. Which is already pushing my luck. You know what I mean? This is already, I'm already, you know, pushing it. And then my genius idea is, bro, what is the funniest thing ever? So in my mind, I know that I have a spare key. I don't know where. I don't know where, but I have a spare key. So I go, lock him up. He's like, Bilzo. And he just sighs. He's like. And I see him getting angry, but I can't. And this is what it is. I'm quite bad at reading people unless like it's like, are they finding my joke funny or not? I can read that perfectly, but sometimes I, I can usually read it perfectly. But if I'm finding it funny, it sort of blurs the vision because I go, this is funny in my head. And then I don't realize that they're not having fun. So then I'm like, I'm like trying to like reassure him. I'm like, oh, Wilbur. Oh, he's dead. And he like starts kicking me. He like starts kicking me. When he's sitting down, I'm like, oh my god. Anyway, anyway, he starts kicking me. And and look, I've grew up with siblings, right? I like this is just very much like, I don't know, that sort of banter that like, you know, fuck over the f like, you know, I don't know. It's like it's nothing too extreme. You know what I mean? So so what I so I'm thinking like, bro, I've been in this situation a hundred times with my siblings before. This is the sort of shit that my older brother would have done. You know what I mean? He would have like locked me to a railing or some shit like that. You know what I mean? It's a classic, like one of those jokes, but then you also, so anyway, he's like fuming now. Well, he's not even angry. He's, he's pretty chill. In his mind, I, I can sort of see on his face, he's getting a little agitated. So I don't know why, I don't know. I just, what I did is I took the handcuff and I put on the tightest setting and I'm, I'm laughing. I am, I'm laughing all the way to the bank and Will, looks at his wrist and he looks up and it was like it's i saw this in slow motion i saw this in slow motion and he goes he's like get the fuck off me you know what i mean rightfully so he's like angry you know what i mean because i put on the tightest setting and bro i shit myself i shit myself bro are you kidding me is that wilbur such scree like oh my god brother lost the absolute rag with me it all of a sudden went from like, this is the best bit I've pulled off in years to I've upset Wilbur Sir. Oh no. Because look, I'm chat. And the best way I can describe when people will go, what the fuck was going through your head? It was just that Bilzo mentality. It was just, yeah. So Wilbur's like, and all of a sudden, bro, bro, I'm going to be real. He said that he felt bad afterwards. I don't know why. If I, if, if I had, how old is Will? How old is Will? I don't fucking know. He's like old, old, right? He's like old. It's like 25. Yeah, bro. I'd be angry. I, because at this chat, because I'll tell you now, when I'm 25, I'm going to look at 17 year olds at how I look at, as a 17 year old, how I look at like 13 and 12 year olds. I'd be like, this fucking kid, this absolute child is like entrapped me. Luckily, luckily, Freddy, Freddy, 
found the key, the spare key, and, like, practically instantly got him out of the handcuffs. Because, like, Will went, like, he's like, get me out of these handcuffs. And then I went, like, I went up to him and I said, sorry, man. And he was like, no, fuck off. And I thought I fucked it. I was like, oh, no. What am I going to tell Tom? I've upset his idol. You know what I mean? I, and, and, but luckily, I, I, I DM'd him. And I was like, I'm so, I'm, I'm sorry. The exact message, what was it? It was like, apologies for your wrist was not poggers of me. And then he said, you have gained back your points. Bilzo is forgiven. And chat, that is the, the beautiful ending to a bittersweet story. Let's get some drapes in chat. I'm reformed, baby.